Hey guys, after a little mishap, I'm finally making some real progress on this cabinet. What happened is, after I got the grain filled, it was all nice and smooth, I applied some toner lacquer. What toner lacquer is, it's traditional clear lacquer with some pigment added to it, which is what they commonly used in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Uh, it saves you the, the hassle of putting on stain, waiting days for, sometimes for it to dry. And I'm covering it with lacquer. So what I used was this stuff. A local antique shop went out of, went out of business uh, recently and uh, they had a whole lot of refinishing supplies and a locker. So I picked up a bunch of cans of this old stuff. Uh, pretty cheap. What I hadn't counted on is that this stuff is probably well past its expiration date. Because when I put this on, uh, although it looked great at first, uh, the next day when I checked on it, splits appeared all over the finish down to uh, the bare wood and it, it just looked horrible there was no way I could salvage it so I stripped it all off and ordered up some fresh toner lacquer and this time I went with the Mohawk brand which is a well-known and respected brand the only downside is it's slightly darker than uh, than the original finish but it still looks fine it's, it's still that traditional deep red mahogany color so uh, I put on a couple light coats of this. Uh, the trick with lacquer I found is that you want to spray it on light. This the solvent that uh, comes in the in these uh, aerosol lacquers is actually lacquer thinner, which dissolves old lacquer. So as you put down each uh, subsequent light coat, it actually melts into the previous coat, and you build up this this deep uh, rich finish. So after I applied a couple coats of that, I got the, an even color, just like I. Uh, wanted to the top of this, uh, then switched to the clear lacquer and put on about uh, three heavy coats of this. And here's what I ended up with. Uh, it's only been about, uh, well, less than a day since I put this on, but this stuff dries pretty quick, so uh, you can certainly, you know, even within uh, about half an hour you can touch it, but you should really wait a good day or so before you do any uh, more treatments to it. Uh, then I moved on to the side, and like I said, the sides I, I didn't want to strip, so what I did is I sanded down the side and treated the existing finish like grain filler, essentially. It has a few dings here and there, but like I said, I'm not trying to make this look like it's brand new. So I sanded this down, cleared off all the, all the dust, I masked off the areas I'm going to do later, and again, a couple uh, light coats of the toning lacquer and then uh, a few coats of the clear lacquer. Once I do the whole cabinet, uh, in, in the same manner, I'm going to put a couple more coats of clear lacquer over the whole cabinet and then move on to doing the hand rubbing, which involves using a, a really light grit sandpaper, then steel wool, then powdered pumice, and then rotten stone to get this really, really shiny. Right now, it's got a bit of what they call orange peel, which, uh, well, it, it looks like the skin of an orange with a slight dimpling to the surface. Uh, that's just what happens as lacquer dries. There's really, uh, not much you can do to avoid it. And uh, so that just leaves me with the front with the decals. Like I mentioned, uh, I can't get replacements for this easily. Uh, it would probably cost me a minimum of about uh, 150 to uh, to get a set of these custom made. So I'll set that for another day. So what I'm gonna do is mask off with some uh, blue painter's tape, just this inner raised panel here and then do the whole rest of the front with that same toner lacquer and I, I think it'll come out looking all right and whenever I uh, or if I ever decide to get some decals made I can do the opposite I can mask off the rest of the set and just sand this center panel down and put on new decals and refinish it if you ever do want to put on decals the way you do it is you would uh, well clear all the old decals off sand it down put on the toner lacquer then the decals, and then bury them with a few layers of clear lacquer to protect the decals, and it uh, comes out looking pretty good. Alright, I'm going to move on to the front. That's all for now.